Oh, what is going on guys, it's Ross Fox here today, back again with another Leicester City Football Manager 23 save today on the console. hope you've all enjoyed the first two episodes, so since the last episode, where well, obviously it's very, we've had a good start to this season, relative, uh, a relatively good start to the season, can't complain, minus the two league defeats there, but unfortunately last since then, we have lost 3-2 to West Ham away. They were very dominant, West Ham. 21 shots to 8, 7 shots to 6 for us. They they were all over, they, well, they were just all over us. What, what can we say? Very tight system. Suchek scored a great goal. I mean, it was just... We couldn't really... We couldn't deal with it. Let's get in here and quickly watch the highlights while we can. Just yeah, we just couldn't deal with the pressure. West Ham was just so Declan Rice, who I check with a 20 if 20 minute penalty. Then we get back into it in the 31st minute. Their keeper punches it out on James Madison with an absolute wonderful strike. Then we do manage to get it 2 1. He was Sumare again, wonderful goal. Indeed, he cross passes it to Sumare, dinks the keeper. I thought well, that's it. We weren't really doing a lot in the game. It's a good chance, but then Paqueta, a bit of a poor one from Samari, knocking it through to Shamaka. And he did get a tap in. And then this one, 77th minute. Coup foul. Could be on to that. It is sweet as a nut. What can you do? It was a great strike. So in today's episode, we do welcome Chelsea to the King Power Stadium. We do also welcome Southampton to the King Power Stadium for back-to-back -back home games before we do go away to Brighton and Hove Albion at the Amex. So it's the first time this season we've had two back-to-back -back home games. So, yeah, let's hope for the best, really. I mean, obviously just starting October now. So let's get straight into the game. So here we have it. We have started Pats and Daka up front instead of Jamie Vardy today as Vardy's just been really poor. But Chelsea have put have got a good line up there. So yeah, we're sitting twelve we're sitting thirteenth for the league there, twelfth in the league, so it's really tight so far. But let's hope for a good result in this game. Hoping for a good start. Seven minutes in, not bad. We managed the shot. Still holding our own out. Fifteen minutes, not a lot is happening. Against Graham Potter's at Chelsea. Obviously, that hasn't been updated since his second, but hey, it doesn't really matter. We've had four shots. We've had one on target. Not a bad shot. All right, twenty-nine minutes in, and we finally have something to watch. Cucurella for Chelsea. Plays it off to Mudrich. Good run into the box. And Jao Felix. Too easy. That that was too easy for Chelsea. That's the first thing they've done all game, I think. A simple Cucurella. Mudrich flick on. Drive into the box. Cross the box. With Felix just on a plate. It's too easy. Ooh. Hopefully that loss to West Ham doesn't cause us too much trouble with the momentum of this team. And obviously we know Chelsea is obviously a good team. So we have to be very careful. And DD, poor tackle, the Elko tackle. Well, we just can't win the ball back. Dewsbury, Dewsbury Hall should have won the ball. Then James in the box, Felix. And let's clear the ball. Danny Ward makes the save. Should demand a bit more. James Justin's taken a knock. All of a sudden, so we might have to bring him off in this second half now. But even we started better, but I think Chelsea have just crept in front. We'll give we'll give them a bit of a rollicking. I just don't think we've performed to our best so far. So let's hope we come out the second half and give the fans something to look forward to. Still very quiet. Chelsea definitely edging it. Castagne, Chalaba for Chelsea. Good tackle. No, no one there to retrieve the ball for us. Chalaba, 
Cucurella. Ball in the box. Evans clears it. Dewsbury Hall, can we capitalise? Oh, again, Felix. Oh, just over the bar. Mudrick, ball in the box. Can we can we get a counter attack? No, Joe Felix now. Driving. James Mudrick goal. Not not great. Not great, but what can we do? What can we do? Madrid just Chelsea really work the ball around nicely Cucurella Chalibur is it going to be three? Oh no it's not but this something's got to give with this team as Chelsea are just all over us Samare can he come on and do a job um, Castagne for Amarte, mate. Amarte that's two that's, we've made three subs Let's just hope for that, maybe. Hmm. Maybe we get Vardy on. 65 minutes in now. See what he can do. Just We've just got to try and hold our own, really, and get something going in this game. Oh, is it? Ward's cleared it. Conor Gallagher for Chelsea. Mudrich. We just can't get close to him. And DD with a good clearance. Kalechi Iheanacho now on the counter attack. Can we actually see something positive from this team? A bounce back. Vardy. Kalechi. Oh, good save from Mendy. That, that's a better. That's a better spell from us. It's nice to. That's that's what we like to see. Dewsbury Hall. Whips the ball in. Bit of a poor one. Kai Havertz on the counter for Chelsea. He's driving forward well. Has he got any support? No, come on. Let's demand some more from this team because that was a good counter attack. Worked it simply. Good counter attack. Loftus cheek. Dewsbury Hall wins the ball. Again, come on. Let's go. Let's get a counter going. Vardy. Can he make the can he make the difference? Can we just nick a goal now and give us a bit of hope? Sumare. Good ball through to Jamie Vardy. And he's missed. He hasn't scored a goal yet this season, Jamie Vardy. But unfortunately, he's missed 75 minutes in now. And I think we maybe may just make our last sub. I don't know. I think we probably bring on Men Mendy just to freshen up that midfield. But it's going to look. It's looking like a loss at the moment. And. Bit, a little bit expected, but we couldn't cause the upset this time round. So disappointed with the play, with the performance. But what can we do? We have to move on to the next game. So here we go. Already for Southampton against Ruben Seles's team. Couple of changes today. Indeed, he is out as he's suspended for picking up too many other cards. So Bubakari Sumare comes in for him, and we have brought in Dennis Pryor for Yuri Tielemans and Jamie Vardy starts. His goalless form is worrying me for £160,000 a week, but he did alright when he came on against Chelsea, so I give him the start. Bit of a striking issue we've got up front, but yeah, Southampton playing a well looked team with Armstrong, Orsic, Ward Prowse, Diallo, just to name a few. So it's going to be a tough match there, down in 17th, but hopefully we can end our two match lot losing streak. We haven't won in the last four. Maybe a little bit worried if we don't win this one. <clears throat> or we don't find a bit of form to shine with. As hopefully we find our feet again. There we go. Positive start. Come on. It's straight in on us. Sumare. Dennis Pryor. Oh, good positive ball forward. But unfortunately we lost it. Daniel Amati is back at right wing back today. As Castagne did pick up a slight knock. So he's out. But he's on the bench if we do need him. Adam Armstrong. Orsic. 
Walker's Peters for Southampton plays the ball forward to Bednarak and plays it straight back to Carr. Bednarak forward to Elianusi and he's hit it high and wide in the first minute of the match. But yeah, hopefully we can get our form back to what we start, how we started the season. We've created an opportunity, created two opportunities. 20 minutes gone three opportunities which is why we're not seeing it let's demand a little bit more let's hope we could just keep this well we've had four chances now ward prowse with the corner for southampton we cleared it only to armstrong back to ward prowse to the edge of the box can we close him down back to salisu he's found bednarak we hit the shot and he's always oh, skimmed the top of the top of the net we're not seeing much from us once again. But Southampton are Southampton are knocking on the door, which is worrying. Wood prowls with this corner now on this right hand side. Ball in the box. We've cleared it. And Marty straight out to it. Can we defend it? Orsic. Ball back in the box. And oh once again Southampton very close there. We need to really put in a better shift and find our shooting feet. Evans, here we go, just in. Ball forward to Jamie Vardy, knocks it on. Jamie Vardy now, he takes a chance and Salisu does manage to deflect it off the line. Kalenta Carr to Diallo. Can Southampton push? James Madison, Dennis Pryor. Ball forward, Jamie Vardy, first league goal of the season, please. Is that, is that that's offside? He's, don't tell me he's offside. It's first goal of the season, goal awarded, finally. We have put some extra training on him for his attacking movements, but we need we need to we need him to find that form. But what a good ball forward from Dennis Pryor, and we do nick that goal which we've been looking for. Very good stuff. Well, very good goal and a good possible end to the first half. That's give us a bit of confidence there. Nine shots, two on target. We've got all the possession. We just need to keep up. Right, I'm pleased. We're doing well. We're not doing badly, we just we're not doing very well in attack. For the Southampton are going a bit rough on me. Four yellow cards this match. Danny Ward to Dewsbury Hall to Johnny Evans to Soy Nucci to Dennis Pryor. James Madison over the top to Kletchi Nacho. Can't find him. Salusu back to Bazuna. Okay, plays it forward. Southampton can't retain the ball. Justin, Jamie Vardy, James Madison. Over the top, Dennis Pryat, and he's got the goal. Dennis Pryat with the assist from Madison does score his first goal of the season as well. He's definitely made a bit of a positive change, bringing him in for Yuri Tielemans today. He's had a bit of a dip in form. Tielemans, but there we go, Madison with a quality ball. That's exactly what we know we can do. That's why he plays week in, week out. 55 minutes in, 2 0. Come on! Another yellow card for Southampton. They are going rough this match. Are they trying to injure our players on purpose? Sumare, Dewsbury Hall, Soyanuchu. Can we make it? Can we get a third? Um, it uh, looks like it's going to be a red card from Diallo. Adam Armstrong's had to be brought off, and Ibrahim at Diallo. They're just, they're just playing rough. What can you say? James Madison's got an injury, so we're gonna have to bring on. Oh. We'll bring on Harvey Barnes. He doesn't. We can't start him because we don't play wingers. But we bring him on, and let's just see what that can do for us. Good young player, Harvey Barnes is. James Wall Prowse with the corner, and the ball has gone over the bar. Sixty-five minutes played, two 0 Not a bad start. No, not bad. We, we, that them goals definitely gave us the confidence to push on. It looks like he's given everything. Oh. Eighty minutes played. Are we going to get the victory? Southampton have struggled to get their chances on target. They've had plenty of chances. They just can't get them on target. Amati with a poor ball. Joe Arebo, even he's on a yellow card and he's been brought on. Harvey Barnes, great interception. Come on. Kalechi Iannaccio, find the ball. 
Dennis Pryat takes it to the six yard box and he makes it 3 0. It's his second goal of the match. What a, what a, what a turnaround this has been for the lads. Johnny Evans, oh, come on, let's just pull back to a balanced mentality. Possibly make a late substitution for a bit of time wasting. We'll bring on Mendy and we'll bring on Vestergaard. Just a bit of time wasting. Make maybe a triple substitution, bring Patterson, da Patterson Dakar on as well. They ain't going to do much, but there we go. 3 0 win over Southampton. We do get the better of Ruben Sellers. 16 shots, 6 on target to their 11 on 1 on target. We both had 16 fouls, but they were racking up all the yellow cards. We only had the one. But look at that. One, two, three. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight yellow cards and the red card is just absolutely unbelievable. And let's, let's be honest with them. Mendy would have preferred to stay on the bench. That's not the type of attitude we like. But yeah, what a 3 0 win. Hopefully that, that pushes us on again. And it's a nice three points to get. So here we have it against the very tough Brighton side. That's going to be a very tough match either way. Brighton are a very good side. I've finally picked up that win in the last match. Tillemans comes back in. Madison's out injured. So Proye comes in the advanced position. It's great that Jamie Vardy ended his goal drought in the previous game. But yeah, Tillemans. Straight away, out wide, Lamperty deals with it. Johnny Evans, forward to Pryor. Jewsbury Hall, Johnny Evans. Solly March. On the attack, down the wing, takes to the byline, back to Terry Lamperty. Cross the box, Adam Lalana through the legs of Danny Ward. Not the start we would have wanted. A little bit poor. Yeah, but we've got to hope we can bounce back quite quickly. Once again, Terry Clamperty. Long ball over this top. Now, James Justin. Solly March. Ooh, six minutes in, could have been 2 0 down. What is going on? Corner for Brighton. Pascal Gross. Whips it in and Adam Webster remarks makes it 2 0 seven minutes in. That's how you put a ball in, that's how you header it at the back of the net, especially when it's a free header. Even worse when you see it the second time round. So Lucci, Castagne, Tielemans, Paul Ball overhit the pass, Sanchez to Webster. Coming with the ball, Vardy's pressing well but not, can't get there, Webster loses the ball, plays a poor ball forward, Pryat and Didi, back to Evans. This is why Brighton are a very tough team to play against, they just, you can't, you can't get away from them. Justin, long ball over the top to Kalecci, Inacho, can he end his little drought, he's, it, a good ball, well, I, I, I don't even know what I'm seeing there, I thought that went out of play then. Justin with the ball over the top. Ian Acho has hit it. It's come off dunk, off the crossbar. It's less low to react. And Ian Acho has tapped it in. Oh, madness. Absolute madness. <clears throat> Hopefully we can kick on and get back into this now. Nine minutes in and I three goals. It's absolute madness. 25 minutes. Been, been a bit quiet. Castagne, Wilfred Ndidi, across the box, Lewis Dunk intercepts, Ferguson, Estupian, ball forward to Matoma, back to Dunk, Estupian, loses the ball, Castagne wins it back, Avardi, back to Soyunuchu, Ndidi, Soyunuchu, Johnny Evans, good ball out wide to Justin, can he get another spark of inspiration, Evans, Tielemans, Ndidi, here we go, Project. Jamie Vardy. Oh, poor touch, let him down there. 
Nathan Ferguson out wide to Mitoma. Don't let him run. He's very good on the ball. And we've let him slip. Is he going to... Yeah. I knew that was going to happen. We let him slip. We let him run. He's very good on the ball. And we've just undone our own goodwill there. Let him get down this left-hand side. And it's all gone wrong. Danny Ward. Johnny Evans to Suyunuchu. And Didi. Quicker play. Pryor. Jamie Vardy now in front of goal. Has a wild chance at it. He's snapshotted it and he's just over the bar. It's good to see a bit quicker play there. But I don't know why. I don't know if that's... I don't know what's going on with the attack. I don't know if it's Vardy and Ayanacho can't play together or what. But it's not great. Johnny Evans. Sayanuchu. Collado. Pryor. Tielemans. Castagne. Dennis Pryor. Cross the box. Oh, Vardy. Can he get there? Oh, he's stamped at it and he's too close to the keeper. I've got an idea. I've got a bit of a tactical change for the second half. And I'm hoping it's going to work. But let's hope for the best. I don't know why some of these players aren't very happy or what. But Castagne with a mask on to Evans, Soyanucci, Tielemans. Good ball out wide, maybe. Justin brings it down. Quick one to Dewsbury Hall. Forward to Justin. Lamperty sticks his foot in there. He's won the ball well. Pascal Gross now. Webster, Lamperty. Oh, good inception from Dewsbury Hall. Dennis Pryor. Oh, lucky there. But again, Matoma on this left hand side. Is he going to have another chance? He does, but quickly. He's just so quick. Right, second half's here now. We're angry. We're really not happy. But I personally think we need to make a really weird change. His bones better on the left or the right. He's better on the left. I think we need to bring an extra attacker on in the right place. Inside forward attack. And then we can put Dennis Pryor on this right hand side attacking midfielder. And then hopefully that just gives us someone else. I think maybe. I think we'll leave it at that for now. And hopefully we could just have a better second half. Because we always knew Brighton was a good team. It's good. But. What can we do? Castagne. To Danny Ward. Ball forward, long kick forward. Hit and help, I think. Gosado, Dunk, Huspian, Matoba now. Again, great footwork. Ball, Blin, yeah, Evan Ferguson, yeah. What a chance that was off the crossbar. Goal kick. Very slow start to the second half. Danny Ward, Johnny Evans, and Dee Back to Danny Ward. Got, we got a good little pass, short passing play going on here. Deuce Hall. Justin, can we get him further up the pitch though? Harvey Barnes, Jewsbury Hall. I think we need to just make a bit of a change just to get Terry Lamperty under a bit of pressure. He's had it a bit too easy down this left and down his right hand side. Jamie Vardy out wide to Timothy Castagne to Dennis Pryor. Takes it to the byline, cross the box. Jamie Vardy scores. 46th minute, come on. 3 2 now. That was a nice little play. Jamie Vardy. Oh, that was a nice ball from Castagne. And what a bit of play from Pryor that was. Come on. Let's praise the team for that. That was nice football. That's what a manager likes to see. Hopefully that slight change of Barnes down that left hand side. Does help us with the likes of Terry Lampetit. And it does isolate him at this game. Look at it straight away. Harvey Barnes now. Pascal Gross with a tackle, but Harvey Barnes has reclaimed the ball. He's coming on the inside. Harvey Barnes, Harvey Barnes with a chance. He probably shouldn't have took the shot, but it's definitely a nice little tactical switch. But it's sad to see Jamie Vardy is going to have to come off. It is his end of his day, unfortunately. And hopefully, Patterson Dacker, if we bring him on in the more advanced role, hopefully he can again push towards that back line and we're going to have to bring Amati on as well <clears throat> as I think Castagne is still struggling with his fitness but hopefully one goal behind now we can nick it back 
demand a bit more from the team. We might not be very happy. Fitness is struggling. We've got it back to quite an even game statistically. Let's maybe go a bit more attacking. Let's go for it. If we lose, we put in a shift. Pascal Gross with a corner for Brighton. He's time wasting definitely for sure here. Ball in the box. We've managed to deal with, we've managed to deal with this one. Gross. Caicedo. Van Heck. Caicedo, what a striker. He's doing it a bit of welly. And it's five minutes added on. I think maybe we need to work the ball into the box. And we just need to try and nick a goal best we can. But it looks like we're going to be heading for another defeat in this one. And it is, unfortunately, but Brighton were the better team on the day. A bit disappointed with that. Fortunately, with a quick goal in the second half, it wasn't to be. And that does leave us sitting 12th. It's not bad sitting 12th, but we just need to find a bit of confidence, I think. We've just lost it all of a sudden. So there's two defeats in this episode, but not great. Villa beat Arsenal, that's a, that's a great result for them. Forest beating Bournemouth, Man United beating Brentford, Tottenham beating Everton, Liverpool beating Newcastle, but Wolves ending Chelsea's record, unbeaten record with a 6-1 win. That is quite harsh on there, actually. They're, prior to playing us, they have been on this un amazing unbeaten run, and, Art and Wolves have just drawn into a close. But yeah, Alvarez only got a bruised foot. He's fine. But we just earned 500,000 off Chelsea for Wesley Fawnett, which is not too bad because he played 10 matches for them. But we're going to have to pay Luton 800,000 soon because James Justin is he's a, great, he's a good player, really. He's not really a left back. But we're playing him a left back because we haven't got anyone else there. Unfortunately, and Soyuluk has got a ban for the next match. But yeah, I think that is where we're gonna finish it for this episode. I mean, a bit of red all coming on the board there, but I think we can do all right. I think we're gonna go ahead the next few matches, and then next episode we shall be playing. Oh, I think we should go ahead quite a few. I think we should do Man City, Liverpool and Everton all in one episode, which is going to be a very tough indeed. So Bournemouth, Wolves, Fulham and Brentford with four games to go and do before then. Hope you all, I hope you've all enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like and subscribe and I'm out for more. Peace.